Every once in a while the universe does something that forces us to question everything, our science, our logic, even our sense of reality. It begins quietly. A flicker of light in the dark, a whisper in the static, something so subtle it almost goes unnoticed. But then that whisper turns into a message. In July a faint object appeared against the cosmic backdrop. Nothing special, just another silent wanderer drifting between the stars. But as astronomers tracked it, that unremarkable speck revealed itself to be anything but ordinary. They named it Three-Eye Atlas, marking it as only the third confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system. Yet this one felt different, alive almost aware. Soon radio telescopes across the globe detected something no one could explain, a single deliberate transmission. Not noise, not interference, a signal coherent, structured and powerful enough to ripple across continents. For the first time in history, the silence of deep space had been broken, and we were not the ones speaking. That's when everything changed. As Three-Eye Atlas came closer, its behavior defied every law of physics. Its rotation was too precise, its light too uniform, its composition too organized to be random. It adjusted its trajectory gently, purposefully, whenever Earth had a clear view of it, as if ensuring we wouldn't miss it. Then the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward the object, and what it saw shouldn't exist. A smooth metallic surface, a heat signature that never fluctuated, patterns geometric, mathematical, engineered, and just when scientists were ready to share their findings, the data went dark, locked behind government firewalls and classified under national security. So we're left with one chilling question. What if 3i Atlas isn't a rock, but a messenger? What if it's not us observing it, but it observing us? When the faint object now known as 3i Atlas was first detected, astronomers expected nothing more than another silent traveler, a piece of cosmic debris drifting aimlessly through our solar system. But then, without warning, something happened that no one was prepared for. Across the planet, from the very large array in New Mexico to the Atacama Desert Observatory in Chile, and even as far as the Square Kilometre Array in South Africa, radio telescopes began to register the same impossible event. A signal. Not the random hiss of cosmic radiation or the usual interference of space weather, but a coherent transmission. It was short, precise, intentional, a single pulse spanning only seconds but rich with structure, like a mathematical heartbeat encoded in light. At first, teams scrambled to verify their instruments. Maybe it was a solar flare, a satellite bounce, a human-made reflection. But when independent observatories confirmed identical readings, all theories began to crumble. This wasn't background noise, it was a message. The frequency was clean, the signal narrow and symmetrical, far too organized for any natural process. It didn't repeat, and it didn't match any known communication band. The pulse had the distinct hallmark of intelligence, something deliberate, directed and aware. For days, scientists hesitated to go public. They compared data, cross-checked timing and tried every possible explanation. But the conclusion was unavoidable. The transmission originated from the exact coordinates of 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor that had just entered our cosmic backyard. What made it even more haunting was the timing. The signal arrived at the precise moment the object's orientation shifted, as if turning a reflective face toward Earth. Then, after that single emission, it fell completely silent again. No follow-up, no repetition, nothing but cold space. The world's leading astrophysicists were suddenly faced with a terrifying question. If this was a message, who, or what, sent it? NASA and ESA convened emergency briefings, while SETI analysts spent sleepless nights decoding the signal's structure. Within the pulse they found rhythmic intervals, ratios that mirrored prime numbers, patterns too deliberate to be coincidence, a language of logic, the universal signature of intelligence, some theorized it was a test, a simple ping to confirm receipt, like a knock on the door of an unfamiliar house. Others feared it was a warning, a brief transmission meant for someone else, intercepted accidentally by us. But one detail unsettled scientists more than any other. The signal wasn't aimed broadly across the solar system. It was directional, focused, narrow-beamed. Whatever sent it knew exactly where we were. For the first time in human history, the universe had spoken not with light or gravity or chance, 
but through deliberate design. And yet, after that first pulse, nothing. Silence, as if the sender had delivered its message and then simply turned away. Was it an accident? A greeting? A probe verifying our existence? Or was the message never meant for us at all? One researcher described it best in a late-night briefing that was never meant for the public. We spend centuries asking if anyone out there can hear us. But maybe the real question is what happens when something finally answers. Whatever that brief transmission meant, one thing had become terrifyingly clear. The silence of the universe was over. As the data surrounding 3i Atlas grew more complex and the contradictions more undeniable, the scientific community reached a breaking point. No matter how many theories were proposed, every explanation only deepened the mystery. The numbers didn't fit. The chemistry didn't fit. The physics definitely didn't fit. And so after months of debate and thousands of hours of observation, the discussion reached a chilling consensus. There were only two possible scenarios left. In the first, 3 my Atlas is the most extraordinary natural object ever observed by humankind. A comet or fragment from an alien solar system forged in a place so different from ours that it defies everything we know about matter in motion. If that's true, then our understanding of the universe is incomplete. The laws we've spent centuries writing are only the surface of something deeper, stranger, and infinitely more dynamic. It would rewrite physics, chemistry, and planetary science from the ground up. It would mean that nature is capable of creating perfection, a body that can balance its rotation, resist solar radiation, and maintain a flawless engineered geometry entirely by chance. But the second scenario is far more unsettling, because if 3i Atlas is not natural, if its flawless trajectory, uniform luminosity, and deliberate transmission were intentional, then it means we have just witnessed the first confirmed contact with a technology not made by human hands, a visitor from another civilization, one that mastered interstellar travel long before we discovered flight. In that case, 3i Atlas isn't just a comet, it's a machine, a probe sent to observe, record, and possibly communicate. Its smooth metallic surface, its stable orientation, its ability to withstand solar radiation, these wouldn't be anomalies. They'd be features. The deliberate design of an intelligence capable of operating across cosmic time, where distances of light years are nothing more than a navigation problem already solved. And if that's true, then humanity has already passed a threshold it can never return from. The moment we confirmed 3i Atlas came from beyond the stars, and the moment it sent a signal, we ceased to be alone. Governments know this. That's why the data blackout was so absolute, why the recordings vanished from public databases, why national security was suddenly invoked by agencies that until then had been open and collaborative. To admit that we are being observed, that something intelligent has entered our solar system and chosen to announce itself, would change civilization overnight.